For a moment, he couldn't remember his nephew's name. Ryan Flanagan paused and sighed, overcome by the lapse. I guess it's a sign of how little I interact with my brother right now, he said quietly. Rhodes Flanagan was born last September to Ryan's brother Brennan and his wife Haley, who have been vigilant about COVID safety. The now six-month-old arrived in the grip of a pandemic, to a world defined by limits. Rhodes hasn't gazed upon his grandmother's face without her mask, hasn't felt her lips on his cheeks or seen how widely she grins in his presence. Brennan's three siblings all live within 15 miles of each other around Kansas City, but his twin sister Caitlin and brother Ryan have only seen Rhodes a couple of times. His brother Keen hasn't met the baby because he refuses to wear a mask. Rhodes was born into a family divided. For the Flanagans, some fractures formed well before COVID, but when the health crisis took hold of the country it pitted conservative family members against more liberal ones, the individualistic against the collective-minded, the risk-averse against the risk-tolerant. The Flanagans span the spectrum of COVID behavior. Brennan, 24 and a teacher, is rigorous about wearing masks, staying six feet apart from others when possible and tries to avoid socializing indoors. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says these behaviors are necessary to slow the spread of COVID. His twin Caitlin, a certified nurse assistant, supports how cautious Brennan has remained, particularly around his son. Ryan, 37, who works for an electronic health records company, has modified some behaviors, but isn't as stringent as Brennan, often travels for his job, and finds some of Brennan's boundaries excessive. Keen, 35, who works in renewable energy, said he lives as freely as he did before the pandemic began, aside from following mask mandates he can't avoid. He thinks Brennan is being silly as hell. COVID disrupted my family and it made our political differences, something we previously put away during Thanksgiving, into something that controlled how we lived, Brennan said. Some people in our families had this mentality of, you guys are worrying too much. We're fine. We've been fine. Stop overreacting. We're not going to meet your expectations just because you guys are worried. Dot dot dot. Our baby has met everyone in the family who is willing to wear a mask while holding him. As the pandemic wears on, so does the family's tension. Before COVID, Brennan and his siblings, mother and stepdad would get together regularly. Since the pandemic, Brennan's family has continued to gather, albeit less frequently, and usually without him. I truly love my family, Brennan said. But I also want to be safe. Brennan and Caitlin are more than a decade younger than their older brothers. Their mother, Sherry Flanagan, said she was a different parent to her younger two, softer, more empathetic, more experienced.